Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are going to talk about HCC Flexible. It is all about HMI designing. You know that. We have started HMI designing course now and as we finish it up almost PLC portion. Now we will learn HMI and we will develop our skills in HMI and then again we will start working on the projects that involve both PLC and HMI like it's going to be a bigger project like where you are going to use PLC and HMI communication you're going to program something in a PLC and to display the variables you're going to use HMI so for that first we need to develop a skills in HMI but if you are here to know about who is the winner of that particular draw that we that were announced a few days back then you have to wait for end of the video because we are going to announce that at the end of the video as promised so let's start working on hmi we have this software wincc flexible i have installed in my machine already so what you have to do is to create a new project you have to click here on create an empty project and then just use the runtime otherwise if you have whatever the panel you can choose from here but we have pc panels and different options available but as we are going to use runtime hmi so i will just select ok it will take a while and then it will open now first thing is to design a screen normally the by default color looks like that okay so if you want to change the background color first thing you can do is by changing the color from here you can change the background color next thing is adding the text into the screen like what i am going to do here i'm just going to take this right over here now i have added the text here first project first hmi project if you want to design it well what you can do it what you can do actually take a rectangle from here and now uh, one thing like when you're gonna drop the rectangle like this you can see your uh, text is hidden there what you can do is just click on that order bring a move to the backward that's so simple right so now you have uh, already color now maybe you don't like this color right so what you can do is you can select from here which color you want like for example you want this guy not like that you want this guy like this for it for instance and if you want your text color a bit different what you can do is this is your fill color you can change your text color from here like i want to so that's how you can change it so we have written a text over there first HMI project in this particular project we are going to take some internal text you are having a tax that you are using within the HMI and that is not connected to some PLC some HMI some external device then these tags are called internal tax in this particular project I'm going to explain you how you can define internal tags and how you can play with it to define that what you have to do is we have to come up over here and I'm gonna define tag with level. So internal tags and data type is integer. As I'm now getting outside from any other device, so no need to define any address and all that. So in connection, you are you don't need to define because you are using this tag within your HMI. So this particular tag is now internal tag. You can see we have external tags if in the case so you have for external tag you have to define a connection because you're getting it from somewhere else other device on the network as we are using this tag inside the hmi so this tag is called internal tags data type is integer good to go then next thing is to go to the hmi screen take an input what you can do io field remember this io field is right here so if you want to like for example because this is an internal tag you want to input that tag from operator screen of hmi that's why you take this io field remember in learning process maybe sometime you will see like the things are getting difficult but if in the case you are consistent and you're learning if you see whole session something will come up in your mind automatically 
But if in the case you're learning and in between you feel like you're not getting something and you quit, that's the losing point. If you watch whole session, definitely you're going to learn, right? So I recommend you not to give up during the session. At the end of the session, I guarantee you, you're going to learn each and everything. So we have taken IO field from here. This is actually input, right? For output, what we're going to take from here is this guy. Bar. So right over here, we get this bar okay good to go now here you can write any text because it's a level it's better up to you you want to write it like here or up it's up to you so i'm gonna use level of deck so it's very simple it's just like playing with that software if you will play more you will learn more so it's just like playing a game map input this Right, we have to write here because operator don't know. Operator is just like simple guy who don't know what is actually you are writing in the code to explain or you have to design an HMI in a such a way that is easy to use, right? So now, like for example, I can use here input level. So we have designed one screen where we have one input level and one output level but we haven't associated any tags with that right so what i have to do i have to click on over here i have to click over here and go to the general properties because it's only input right so i'm just giving input here so i have to choose input and the tag is level because we have just defined level tag over there remember in the tag section if you don't remember this is the tag that we have defined now come back to the screen we have given this tag to input level and same thing for this particular level of the tank this particular bar is going to show the same level right whatever you, you're going to input over here so you have to define that tag also here level that's so simple so once you define that level and we connected that to the bar to display that we have connected that to the input level from where we are going to give input to that particular level as we have explained clearly we are going to use internal tags so we have to give a value by operator screen so once we have defined this screen now is the time to run it to run it from here you can just click on that okay so First HMI project, level, what value you want to give, for example, you give 33, level is going to the 33. So if you give 66, level is going to the 66. Problem over here is like, if you want to close this window, you don't have any option on the screen, right? So we have to add that option onto the screen. What we can do for that? Like this, you have to close. But now, if in the case you want to close the screen and you want to add a button over here to close the screen, what you can do is you have an option of button here. Okay. So, and run time. You can write and run time or whatever you want. Okay. So, button should be like that. So we have added a button that is to end the end time screen. So let's play with it. Now is the time to define an event here. So for event, once we will click that button, what action I have to do is to close that screen, right? So there's an option here, you can see here, go to the other functions. And in other functions, you have a stop run time here. So just click on that and now you're good to go. Let's run this particular project once again. Now in this case, if you want to end this runtime, so you have an option. Just click on end runtime screen, you're good to go. That's so simple, right? So this is how we define one simple screen on 
HMI. Now, if in the case you have a multiple screens, how you can define? Let's do that now. Very new screen here. Screen two. Where I will just do simple thing. For now, I'm not gonna do some rocket science over here. I will just place one button to go back to the main screen. So button here and main screen. Okay, good to go. So for event, if you click that. Go to the screens. Here you have an options of screens. Where is that? Here is that. And you might see a very good option here called screen activate screen. Right over here. Activate screen. Which screen you want to activate? Upon clicking that particular button, screen one. Okay. This is how you can play with different screens okay so now we have this button you can play with changing the color and all that more you will play with software by yourself you will learn more so now go to the main screen and here we have to add another button to go to the second screen right also so this is right over here okay so we have added one button called second screen and this looks like okay to me good to go now for that you just click on that for click it's same you just click on that and go to the events and from here you can choose activate screen which screen you want to see when you somebody click that button I want to see definitely second screen right so second screen here we go okay you're in first screen if you click on that then you got into the second screen and where you have an options to go back to the first screen that's all about today's session. In next session, we are going to talk about alarms, trends, and all other stuff in HMI programming. Hope to see a lot of amazing content because it's an HMI series where you have again opportunity to learn about HMI. Now, as per promise, Are you ready now? We are going for picking up Lucky Winner. All you have to do is copy that URL. I have already copied from there. So I will just select search. This is the URL of what we have actually automation giveaway video. So start. Who's that? Who's that? Who's Lucky Winner? Here we go. Anas. And this is the lucky winner. So congratulations from IT and Automation Academy for winning that DVD. So contact me in the comment section. Please write your email address so that I can reach you. That's all for today. And if you guys haven't subscribed to this particular channel, this guy. If you haven't subscribed this channel, then subscribe that. That's it for today. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this particular channel, consider subscribing this channel of Fiamma.